heightened risk of divorce in parents of children on the autism spectrum and ADHD are twice as likely. Good morning and hello Thursday. Today's topic of discussion is parenting autism and divorce rates. So let's get into it. I know that your time, your energy, and your resources are going into providing the best care and support for your child. But three of the most common things that negatively negatively affect the well-being of parents of children on the autism spectrum are the uncertainty around the autism diagnosis, the lack of public understanding and tolerance of certain behaviors, and the limited resources to help cope with the behavioral demands of autism. And these things throw family dynamics off balance. And here's how it negatively impacts your marriage or partnership. So in general, when our children are younger, the demands of parenting are higher, which naturally increases stress. And we are more likely to neglect the needs of our spouse or partner. Parental stress not only intensifies, but intensifies for longer for parents who are raising children on the autism spectrum because these high level demands continue beyond childhood and into adolescence and adulthood. So parents who are raising children on the autism spectrum or who have ADHD are twice as likely to divorce compared to parents who are raising neurotypical children because of these prolonged levels of stress. The results of this article, the relative risk and timing of divorce in families of children with an autism spectrum disorder suggests that interventions focus on improving ongoing and long-term marital strains for parents of children on the autism spectrum. But the big question is, how do we do this? So I have created a solution. And right now, you guys, is the best time in our world for innovation. So my one-on-one coaching program does not just include the support for your child's needs, but also the needs, your needs as a parent and your family's needs as a whole. Because when your entire family's needs are considered while navigating autism, the relationships within your family dynamic are nurtured to maintain balance and connection. So while I'm on the subject, you guys, you as a parent navigating autism, this is not your only role. You were not meant to just focus on raising a child on the autism spectrum. You have needs, wants, and dreams yourself. And in order to really reach those those same dreams that you have, you need support in navigating autism for all of the stages of your child's life so that you know that you are still able to care and protect and nurture and love your child while also doing the same thing for yourself. So I've said all that to say, I only have two spots and this is the last week that I will be promoting my one-on-one coaching program before I shut the doors. So if you are curious and you want to know if my So if you want to know if my one-on-one coaching program can support you in your unique situation, DM me one-on-one support to get clarification. 